So, on December 6th of last year, I had a dream. And in this dream, there was a pail, and it was like a pan, you know, like a pan that you can take and you can um, put food in, you can bake it in the oven. Well, it was kind of like that. It was a pan. And down the middle was a divider. And there was grain being poured in each side of these pans. One side got more than the other. Okay. That was the first dream. December the 7th, I had another dream. And in this dream, I was running. I was running from a giant flying bug like it was ginormous and I was running from it but it sounded familiar do you know why it sounded familiar because it was a drone it was a giant drone and it was chasing me <clears throat> and I ran into my room into my closet and got up under a pillow like that would save me. Got up under a pillow and was hiding from this giant drone. This drone could sense heat. It could sense body heat. And then I heard Liberty and World Trade Center. Liberty being removed and World Trade Center. Okay, and so I was like, something had to have been meant by those two dreams, but I couldn't put them together. So I was like, you know what? Something's up. I don't know what's up, but something's up. And so I just, you know, rolled it. I just didn't worry about the dream. And so, I, I went on about my business, and then December 24th, you know, I had a rapture dream. And then, the other day, I had another dream. And in this dream, I threw up, and there was two positive pregnancy tests. Like, they were blatantly positive. It looked like somebody took a marker and wrote the line on that test that was so positive, and it was two of them. And I had been taking a nap on my couch, and I stood up when I threw up. And me and my husband were walking through this house, and once we started looking on the floor, I saw driplets of blood. Like, everywhere I turned, there was driplets of blood. This blood was leading me to a room. And once I got to this room, there was a giant map on the wall. And there were these people on this map. This map was alive, y'all. Like, it was literally alive. And there was these people that were walking in a straight line. Like, they were waiting to be processed that were waiting on something. And there was a line of blood that was going up this map. The bloodline was leading these people. Up under the map was droplets of blood. And then I woke up. I believe that the December 6th, December 7th, and the dream from the other day are connected. How it's connected, I'm not sure. 
So whenever you see this, whenever I decide to actually post this, because I'm, I'm going to keep it as a record, but whenever I decide to post it, you will see. Today is uh, January the 9th, 2020. January the 9th, 2020. I don't know when I'm going to post this, but I did want to make a record of it. December 1st, I had a rapture dream. December 6th, I had a food shortage dream. December 7th, I had a dream about a war. December 24th, I had another rapture dream, except this dream was all scripture. Everything that was coming out of my mouth was scripture. I was laying in the bed, I was looking up, and I was quoting scripture. And I was drawing something in the air. I don't know what I was drawing, but I felt an urgency like he was coming. And I, I was very, very, very excited. And then the other day, this week, this week, I had a dream. It looked like a concentration camp. But I'm thinking because of the pregnancy test, it had to do with abortion. I'm not sure, but I am keeping a record of my dreams now. It really gets me that I had a dream about a war December the 7th. Not a war war, but like a drone attack, whatever. December 7th, and then the other day, that happened. I believe God is saying something. I'm not sure. Um, so, whenever I do post this, I will have updates in this video. I'm just making a record of it. And I just wanted to have a record of this so that you could see what my dreams were. So thank you everyone for watching. I hope you have a great day and we will see you 